Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of June 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid, okay? Also Aquarius, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Aquarius, this is a short reading and I won't be doing any extended for this one. Okay. Uh, also know that... Uh, what was I going to say? I just forgot. Uh, well, right. Uh, for this reading, the format is a bit different. So what I'm going to do for this reading is I'm going to... Uh, yeah, of course, I'm going to place a couple of cards over here, but I'm going to start with uh, like, you know, what your person is thinking and feeling about you. Okay, then second, we'll see what action they will take towards you. And then third, we are going to see with the help of the Oracle cards, uh, what's your advice when it comes to your life, your money and your career. Okay, so right. So Aquarius, let's get started now. We are starting with what your person is thinking and feeling about you why the cards are jumping out aquarius what your person is thinking and feeling about you what your person is thinking and feeling about you aquarius what your person is thinking and feeling about you what your person is thinking and feeling about you aquarius what your person is thinking and feeling about you we have six of swords three of wands six of pentacles Ace of Swords, <clears throat> King of Swords, then we have is Lovers, then we have is Eight of Wands, and we have is the Moon. Let's pull out some more cards. You may be seeing a lot of 666, okay? We have Page of Pentacles, then we have Ten of Pentacles, we have Nine of Cups, and we have is Three of wands okay so three of wands is a repetition over here you may be seeing a lot of 11 11 you may be seeing a lot of 666 we have six of swords six of pentacles lovers which is also a number six card okay you may be seeing a lot of 888 as well right so uh and also 333 aquarius what your person is thinking and feeling about you Aquarius, <clears throat> your person completely acknowledges that they committed a mistake and not a simple mistake. It was a big blunder that they committed in this relationship. They did something which sort of forced you to walk away, give up on this connection. Okay. Uh, but at the same time, they also know that why you fell for them irrespective of a bit of unconventional characterization of this connection this connection comes across a bit unconventional maybe an age gap age difference um, religious difference cultural difference ethnicities uh, different ethnicities or maybe uh, coming with different backgrounds different countries okay Irrespective of all these things, you fell for this person and you fell for this person because you felt a very strong connection with them. And both of you may have confessed, may not have confessed in the past that there is this strong connection. Okay. But whether you have confessed or whether you have not confessed, both of you knew that this is a very intense connection which probably both of you never experienced in the past and even as of now even as of now that uh, both of you are separated for such a long time still still both of you think about one another a lot your person knows that you think about them you know that they think about you and both of you interact with one another telepathically a lot okay your person is thinking that you like you blocked them 
you walked away from this connection you separated they completely agree that they committed a mistake and they committed a blunder but at the same time they are also thinking that you are a very intelligent soul aquarius you know that this is a special connection and there is still some unfinished business that both of you are required to do if there was no unfinished business then there was no reason that both of you are still thinking about one another so much okay and they are they they are thinking that you are an intelligent person and you know that this is a very strong connection and you know that there is some unfinished business and you should allow them to get in touch with you you may have blocked this person you are absolutely not entertaining or replying to their calls or their messages and they are like i agree i committed a mistake but please understand that this intensity is not going away how much ever you walk away from me or how much ever i walk away from you okay this intensity is not fading away the intensity is still there what are we going to do about this intense connection okay there has to be some sort of a justice that this connection is asking us to give okay and for that i i this person is like i know i committed a mistake i completely accept that i want to come towards you to say sorry but at least unblock me allow me to reach out to you aquarius and you are an intelligent person to understand that this connection the intensity of this connection this connection is not fading away irrespective of the probably for some of you the length of the period of separation is also big for some of you it's it's many weeks it's many months for some of you even years <clears throat> this person is literally begging you energetically aquarius that please don't block me please allow me to reach out to you please entertain me at least get into some sort of a conversation with me do not dismiss me right away okay this person is begging you aquarius literally energetically okay both of you are interacting there is a very strong telepathic connection aquarius let me tell you that a very very strong and aquarius you people are known for some out of the world psychic abilities out of the world sixth sense and out of the world telepathic connections you people are known for that aquarius okay you people are known for that and uh, you have you have a very strong telepathic connection with your person and this person is trying to talk to you but you also fear aquarius that once you give a chance to this person you are <laughs> I think so rather than you not wanting to talk to them the fear inside you is about if you give a chance to this person you'll heart your heart will melt again and you'll forget what happened in the past because you love this person a lot and they also love you a lot okay if at all the love was not expressed in the situation it needs to be expressed that's what i see a very strong uh, your souls are desperate to hear that expression of love for, from one another and the soul contract is going on since last many lifetimes aquarius this is not something this is happening this lifetime no your souls have recognized each other long back this lifetime your souls are fighting with one another because the love has not been expressed okay or the the souls are fighting with one another because one soul has hurt the other soul the the love that was supposed to be expressed was not expressed or the love that was supposed to be shown the intensity of the love that was being supposed to be shown has not been shown and that's why one soul is not happy or disappointed with the other this is a oh god aquarius i'm becoming very emotional now this is very very strong uh, strong soulmate connection very strong your souls are so strongly connected to one another i mean like the kind of energy i'm getting right now from the from this spread 
and as well as intuitively Aquarius how much ever efforts you make Aquarius to disconnect yourself from this person you won't be and this is not something this is happening this lifetime no if you are thinking that this is something that has happened this lifetime uh, uh, no you are wrong this is happening since ages 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 my dear Aquarius since ages okay you may also be the Adam and the Eve the first Adam and the Eve on this planet earth it, it dates back so 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 many years ago are you are you trying are you understanding the intensity I'm trying to tell you I don't know if I'm able to articulate that in the words because I am getting very strong intense energy from this spread and it happens with me all the time when it comes to Aquarius of course I am also an Aquarius but more than that I know for sure Aquarians although an air sign they have a tremendous emotional side and more than emotional side their psychic abilities oh my god Aquarians you people have some amazing psychic abilities amazing <clears throat> I have known many Aquarians in my life and the kind of psychic ability an Aquarius has there is no comparison to that there is forget about competition no comparison even you cannot compare that with anyone else okay your psychic abilities you people are blessed with some amazing psychic abilities and let me tell you Aquarius your souls are very close to the spiritual world okay you have a very tremendous uh, strong connection with the spiritual world like your spirit team your like gods or whosoever you believe in they are always thinking about you and I mean of course they are thinking about everyone but you are the first you will be the first zodiac sign who will understand quite early in your life that that there is an unseen presence who is thinking about you continuously who is worrying for you who is protecting you okay and you will keep on worshipping that unseen force that unseen energy from the very start of the early childhood itself okay and worship I don't mean I don't mean when I say worship that you'll sit with your folded hands and you'll pray to God or whosoever you believe in you may be doing that but the amount of respect you have towards that unseen force since your childhood that level of respect is so high and you will never understand like why why do you believe so strongly in those unseen forces but you do since very childhood this happens and that's why you you always have a very strong connectivity with the spiritual world and you're always very protective and that is why uh, this strong telepathic connection is happening over here your person is also someone who is blessed with strong psychic abilities okay okay so let's see what's the likely conclusion what is the likely conclusion what is the likely conclusion what is the likely conclusion page of wands then we have a six of cups then we have a seven of cups three of cups and page of swords time of celebration Aquarius time for celebration and let me tell you I see I see union with that six of cups I see union happening over here okay but even if you decide that you don't want this person now and you'll move on this person will keep on popping up in your life okay it may happen that you will move on you will get married to someone else but then uh, something will happen because of which that marriage may fall apart or something will happen because of which you will become single again and you will get back to this person or it may happen that you will just get back to this person right away or till the time your union doesn't happen okay if this lifetime the union doesn't happen I don't know what's gonna happen in the next lifetime then 
the next lifetime your purpose itself will be the next lifetime your purpose itself will be to unite with this person okay then you will have to chase this person the next lifetime probably all right so let's see what's your advice let's see what's your advice when it comes to this connection what's your advice when it comes to this connection and we have is the thinking man then we have is the hostilities then we have is the world we have is the strategy and we have is the garden and the gate let's pull out some more cards aquarius oh my god we are already already at 15 minute mark i wanted to close this reading at 10 minutes i don't know what happens my intuition starts speaking so much when i am i'm doing aquarius readings i don't know this happens to me always always and always so we have is 11 sorry four of wands i was going to say 11 11 four of wands because four of wands is also uh, it represents 11 11 right those four of wands they look like 11 11 so four of wands the fool the king of wands eight of cups and four of swords again you may be seeing a lot of four 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 as well okay i see you will get into a a partnership with someone who will be your romantic partner so we are talking this spread is about your advice for your life your money and your career so if you are planning to start something of your own Aquarius I see that you are joining hands with your romantic partner so it won't be just a, a romantic alliance it can also be a business alliance okay uh, I don't know why that hostility card is popping up for every single zodiac sign what's up in the air huh? uh, Aquarius watch out what you discuss with your near and your ones your family members or your friends Please refrain from discussing every single detail of your life with your near and dear ones. Certain things needs to be kept with yourself only. Even if they are your family members, that's okay. Please uh, inculcate this habit of not sharing every single thing with every damn person. Okay? And how much ever close that person may be. Certain things are meant, are meant to be known only to you and not to the world okay so be strategic the way you handle your life because what happens is if you keep on sharing everything or even if you keep on sharing certain important things or sensitive things to your near and dear ones the information will make someone hostile towards you the person may want to take some undue advantage towards you either out of jealousy uh, they may want to take some undue advantage of you either out of jealousy or out of uh, uh, or, out, or because they want to share that benefit if you are getting any sort of a benefit and if you are uh, sharing that news with someone else that person will be like no even I want I want a share of that benefit that is coming towards you for what no reason at all but they just want it okay I see some traveling uh, travel happening for you I see some ro relocation happening for you Aquarius a very strong energy of you getting relocated a very strong energy of you leaving something especially you you are plan you're leaving a home some of you are also planning to buy a home you're saving money for that I see you buying home by the end of 2021 or at the start of 2022 if you are waiting for certain things to happen in your life that will happen especially marriage that's what I heard marriage is going to happen for you by 2020 end of 2021 or first half of 2022 and you're going to get engaged into some engaged with someone who is very passionate who is intelligent who is a risk taker and who has gone through a lot in their life okay Alright, I hope this resonates. Please hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Till then, bye-bye.